Only a handful of flights are getting out of Puerto Rico's main airport. CBS 2's Charlie DeMar is live at O'Hare where the evacuees are arriving. Charlie. Robin, Erica, good evening. And there were a lot of tears here at O'Hare as loved ones were reunited. An obvious sense of relief for so many after surviving Hurricane Maria. I'm not a crier. I'm a tough girl. <laughs> <laughs> Angela Garcia has good reason to cry after riding out Hurricane Maria in Puerto Rico, relieved to be back in Chicago. United had a humanitarian flight for us, and after seven hours, I got on and I can't believe it. The dire situation that Maria left behind in Puerto Rico has led to scenes of chaos at airports. People desperate to get home. This group landing Tuesday night at O'Hare, greeted by the Red Cross. I'm a disabled vet, so my depression, anxiety is like an extreme because it's hard. My house, my house, the, the whole roof of my house, fly it away. For many, there was little to no way of communicating. We were on pins and needles, you know, we were trusting that they were fine. Oh man, this is the best feeling ever. It's, it's like they, they were born all over again. I'm scared. Um, I really don't know when we're gonna get out of here. Skokie because Theater American owner Wendy Kaplan is stuck in Puerto Rico. We talked with her on FaceTime. She took these pictures of her now flooded hotel. What's really bothering us is that we know that planes are coming in and out and we don't know how to get on them. And United Airlines telling us that everyone that was on that flight that landed here in Chicago will get a free trip to their final destination if they do not live here in Chicago. We are live tonight at O'Hare. Charlie DeMar, CBS 2 News, Robin Erica. Okay, Charlie, thank you.